To use external fonts, you will either have to check the Freetype font extension on the project setup, or if you're using an existing project, include the dependencies found in the link in the description below. In this example, I will be drawing into the screen how many times the user has pressed the screen to move the dot using an external .ttf font that I've placed into the assets folder of the Android package. To begin, I will create three objects. The first, the free type font generator, which will generate a font from the file given. The second, our parameter, which will take into account a set of parameters we give it for the text. And finally, a bitmap font to draw our font onto the screen. As well as this, I will create an int variable called taps and equal that to zero so we can draw it to the screen later. I'll create these objects in the create method while specifying the internal file using gdx.files.internal and giving it a string. I'll do the same for the parameter. And then I will give the parameter different variables such as size, set to 150, border width, to have a border around our text. I'll set the color to color.black. And I'll set the text color to white, color.white. And finally, I'll set the bitmap font using the bitmap generator dot generate font with the font parameters given. When the user touches the screen, I'm going to increase the taps by one. To draw the text on screen, I need to create a new object called sprite batch and create that variable in the create method. In the render method, I have to set the batch dot set projection matrix to cam dot combined which allows the batch to render using the camera coordinates on the, to the screen. Similar to the shape renderer I need to call patch dot begin batch dot end and inside I can call font dot draw to draw the font to the screen using the batch the text being taps plus our variable we just created before at an X of 50 and a Y of the height of the screen minus 50. I also, also need to dispose this batch after we finish using it. We can save and now run our app. And as we can see, the taps in our chunk font on the top left of the screen, and every time we tap, the number increases by one. If you have any questions about what I've gone through today, please put them in the comment section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.